Shalom and welcome back to Torah Kids. Today this video will be focused on Jonah, which can be found in the book of Jonah. Okay, so let's begin. This story begins in Israel where there was a prophet named Jonah. During his life he preached to the people of Israel and helped guide the Israelites in accordance of Yahweh's word. One day Yahweh spoke to Jonah and told him to go to the people of Nineveh and preach to them for they were wicked and needed to know about Yahuwah. If the Ninevites didn't repent within 40 days, they will be destroyed. But Jonah didn't want to go and preach to the people of Nineveh, for they were an evil and wicked people, and they were enemies with Israel. So in contradiction to what Yahuwah commanded, he ran away from Yahuwah. Jonah turned the opposite way from where Yahuwah told him to go and went to Joppa and boarded a boat there so he could head west to Tarshish. While Jonah was on the boat, Yahuwah sent a great storm upon the seas. There were also other men on the boat with Jonah, but these men weren't Israelites, for they began praying to their gods of stone, hoping the storm to stop, but obviously their gods didn't help at all. During the storm, Jonah was sleeping, then suddenly the men woke him up, saying, How can you sleep at a time like this? The men then decided to throw lots so they could figure out who brought the storm upon them. Then the lot landed on Jonah, so they interrogated Jonah and asked, Who are you? What is your line of work? What country are you from? Who are your people? Jonah answered and said, I am a Hebrew and I worship the Lord, the God of heaven, who made the sea and the land. The men on the boat then questioned Jonah. What should we do to you to stop this storm? Jonah then told them, Throw me into the sea and it will become calm again. No! And even the men began praying to Yahweh. Oh Lord, do not make us die for this man's sin, and do not hold us responsible for his death. You have sent this storm upon him for your own good reasons. So the men threw Jonah off the boat, and the storm then went away. But then a big fish came and ate Jonah. Jonah then sat in the fish's mouth. Every day he prayed and prayed. Then on the third day, the fish vomited out Jonah onto the shores of Nineveh. So Jonah then set out to the city of Nineveh, and he began preaching to the people of Nineveh. And surprisingly, the Ninevites turned from their wickedness and repented to Yahuwah. And the king commanded, I proclaim to the city of Nineveh, no one, not even the animals from your herds and flocks, may eat or drink anything at all. People and animals alike must wear garments of mourning, and everyone must pray earnestly to God. They must turn from their evil ways and stop all their violence. But Jonah was bitter and angry that the Ninevites won't be destroyed. So Jonah went out of the city and built a hut and stayed in there. Then Yahuwah made a plant grow next to the hut so we could give Jonah shade. Jonah gave thanks to Yahuwah for the plant. But then the next day, Yahuwah sent a worm to eat the plant. Then a hot wind blew and the sun burned hotter and hotter. Jonah became upset about the plant and sat in the hot sun, complaining and moaning. Yahuwah then spoke to Jonah. Is it right for you to be angry about a plant? You have had pity on the plant for which you have not labored, nor made it grow. It came up in a night and perished in a night. And should I not pity Nineveh, that great city, in which are more than 120,000 persons who cannot discern between their right hand and their left. Now Jonah had learned that all people are precious in Yahuwah's eyes and everyone deserves his love. Well that is the end of the story of Jonah. So the moral of the story is, no matter who the person is, even to those that we may not like, everyone deserves Yahuwah's mercy and love. Well that is all for today. If you enjoyed watching, remember to subscribe, like, and turn on the bell notification so you are notified whenever we upload. Shalom, bye.